Hey guys, Oni here again with episode 3 of our Factorial Let's Play. Last time we left off, I was low on iron and I needed to go increase my mining abilities, so I added some more electric miners. Now I have uh, more than enough iron coming in. As you can see, there's a backlog already. I also added a simple furnace here that I manually put coal into that I'm going to make steel in just for right now. I mean, it's not a lot of steel, but it'll let me make the steel axe that I wanted to get to replace my iron axe. There we go. And it'll also let me uh, make some steel armor once I have enough. Because, but right now, I don't need steel right now. I mean, when I do need steel, I'll expand this. But for right now, it's just like a passive way of getting steel. So, I went ahead and made two of these assembly machine tier twos. So, let's go ahead and set those up now. Let's see. Right there. And right there. And you two are going to be making the inserters which need iron plates iron gears and iron wait, iron plates iron gears and electronic circuits so electronic circuits will come from the top like that iron plates will come from the regular iron plate line like that Some more iron for ourselves. Like this. And then the iron gear wheels will come up from down here. Now we need a bunch of iron again. Let's make one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Of course, now it's making nothing but long handed inserters, so one, two, three, four again. This, this, this. That way, and then we'll do this, and this, and this. Whoops, not wrong way. Okay, so now I just need to do this to grab the output of circuits. Wait, why are you? Why'd you do that? There we go. All right. Now they need power. Power lines. Right there there and then connect it up. Now we're making inserters automatically. Now, final piece of the puzzle is to make another advanced science lab level or the assembly machine level two. Let's make two more. And those will make the green science packs. Ooh, big, big thing of iron right here. Nice. Those will go um, one, two, three, right there, and then the next one will go next to it. Like that. And then you, my friend, can make actually I can use regular I can use regular ones for this. But I'll I'll use advanced ones, why not? Why not? Because you can you can use these upgrade cards in here for the advanced ones. You can't do that with the tier one ones, so. Okay, so you need belts and inserters. So, belts can come from down there. Again, we need more belts for ourselves. Grab some more iron. Let's see, the belts come from down here. And we're going to need, most definitely, some underground conveyor belts. Oops. Make you come out further away. That way I don't have to use that many compare belts myself. Oops, wrong one again. Actually, it's not going to work. Going to need to... Do this. Come up. Up. Left, and then, and then down. 
and down again. Back up. Around. That. Wrong thing. Wrong button. Then we'll have the circuits coming from back here. And then you also need... Oh no. Oh, what am I doing? Wrong thing. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. You just need the inserters now. So the inserters are going to come like this. Like that. With the help of some long-handed inserters, putting the inserters back on this line right here. Now I need again one, two, three, four. Going in, going in, going in, and going in. Power it up. What are you missing? Iron plates? Am I low on iron again? No, it's just that all the iron's being taken up by this freaking steel furnace. Let's rotate you so you don't take anything else for right now. And let's add on three more stone furnaces with the accompanying inserters. See, the thing is that you, this is already going as fast as it can to put iron on this line right here. So adding more inserters will only, for right now, I guess, fill up the chest, which is better than nothing, so. Let's go one, two, three. One, two, three, and then. One, two, three. Increase the length of this conveyor belt line, and then we'll hook them up to power. All right. Okay. So now we need a lot of iron because we want to take the green science packs that this is going to be making once it has its uh, inserters. And we want to, you know, let's just hurry up and make it right now because. It's just silly. Alright. Because once it has inserters, I'm going to output it down here and bring it all the way down here. So let's go ahead and steal some iron. As a matter of fact, I don't need this anymore. That'll fix the problem I'm having. So I don't need to stockpile it for right now. There we go. That should be a little better now. I can steal these conveyor belts that this doesn't need to be using right now anyway. Make some more for myself. And basically it's going to come down like this. What's the wrong way? Down like this. Hugging the current conveyor belt system. Oops, one more down. To the right. And then we're going to go all the way over here. Finally, we're going to go underground right there. Come up right there. Uh, why, why did that just do that? No, you idiot. That's what I meant to do. Okay, so. I want you to come up. Uh, it's not going to work. Alright, so we'll come down one. To the right. And then we'll do underground, above ground. Then we'll loop back around. Get rid of you. Then we'll get 
some more iron. Get six long handed inserters. We'll say that, that, Okay. Turn these around. Press R. Oops. Looks like I also broke the one that was regular, so. Okay. That should be good now. Two more. And there we go. Now we're automating the green science packs. Now, so that means we can start researching some of this better stuff. Like... This unlocks advanced processing level two. Let's do that. Advanced electronics. And then you want to go ahead and make sure. How's our power doing? Good. Because we have so much extra power now, let's go ahead and make some more radar stations. Get some more iron. Let's make two more. Let's make sure this works. All right, it works. Sweet. Take our two additional radar stations. Plop it down right there and right there. Give it some power. All right, we're still doing good on power. And now, Let's see, what else can we make for right now while we're waiting for this research to finish? Well, I do need better armor in case they attack again. So let's see, how much steel did I make in that short period of time when I was making steel? 24? I need 50. So nowhere, not even close to what, what I need, so. Let's go ahead. Actually, you see that right there on the map? This right here? That's a biter base. And... Pretty soon here, I should be able to start seeing my pollution. I'm not sure why I can't see it yet, but I guess pretty soon here we should be able to. Okay. Now, I have three assemblers making red science packs and two making green science packs. Ideally, in a perfect world, I'd want all six of these to be able to be going at the same time, but I'm not making enough green science packs right now to do that. So, do I want to add another one? That's the question. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. You're good, you're good. Hook them up to power. All 
All right, it works. Sweet. All right. Now, let's go ahead and let's see if we can. Let's see how's our how's our power doing with those extra radar dishes. Ooh, getting kind of close. Let's go make some more steam engines. Sweet. Okay, so what we can work on now is hmm options. So many options right now. Decisions, decisions. Robotics seems really cool. Well, that means you can get um these logistics robots will which will greatly increase how efficient you can be with your inventory management and getting items to where they need to go. So robots can carry items for you from point A to point B. So for right now though, thinking that I want to get Logistics 2 because that'll unlock the fast transport belts. So let's do that. Looks like it's okay. But what I want to do is I want to... Um, uh, yeah, let's do that. I want to move these. I want to get two underground pipes. Which need more iron. Regular pipes. One more steam engine. I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do one more. That might require that I have more boilers, but we'll see. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll cut this off here. Then we'll get rid of you guys for right now. Take the hot water out of this one. Actually, you know what I want to do? For, first, before I do any of that, I want to make more boilers. Of course, need more iron. Give me this iron, please. Thank you very much. I'm thinking that should be enough, but just in case or it's not. We'll do this, and we'll also do this. Yeah, I know. We got kind of dis disconnected. Hang on. We'll take the hot water from this end piece. Oh no, don't do that. Oops. Come down. I, don't, I didn't even need underground pipes, but oh well. And did I leave enough space in the middle of those to put a power cave, power pole? No, I did not. So I want enough space to do that. We'll do this. And one more pipe. Water still 100 degrees. Good, good, good. One, two, three, four. Hook them all up.
Temperature's still good. Water level's getting kind of low. But I think that's the limit. This is 10 boilers, steam engines I mean, on one offshore pump. So if I want to add any more, I need to add another pump and another series of boilers somewhere else, or steam engines somewhere else. So, But should be able to produce a lot of power now. So, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. All right. So, let's come back over here. And let's, uh, oh, good. We're getting a backlog of green science packs. It's good. All right. Next thing we want to get is, I do want to start working on solar panels. So, but first, let's get these advanced material processing research out of the way. And as you can see, I'm already getting to the point where not enough iron's getting to these end pieces, so let's add some more. Do I have enough to make another one? No, I do not. So let's get some more iron real quick. Let's make two more, I guess, for right now. Next thing on the list is to start getting these fast transport belts, which require regular belts. Let's see. I also want to make sure I'm defended, so let's make some turrets real quick. Along with some ammo. I mean, I can't make a lot, but a little more, a little bit more than none, right? Put two there. Get uh, where's the ammo right here? Duh. Shift right click, give me the half of that back, and you can have that. We'll put some walls around you guys. Okay. And now let's make some more ammo. And ideally, we'd like to upgrade all of our conveyor belts to the fast versions, which is going to take a lot of materials. So, such a task requires us to have the regular conveyor belts, which, lucky for us, we already make those automatically, right here on this line. So what I could do is kind of loop this up here somewhere, along with the gear wheels, which come up from right here. I guess that's getting kind of low. I guess I could use another assembly to make in regular uh, gear wheels. Let's do that. Get some more iron for the necessary inserters. Say, kill you, put you down here, put you over here now. We make iron gear wheels. Using the iron from above you, put the gear wheels below you. Now, it might not be the most efficient or not the, the fastest way to make iron gear wheels, but it works for now. Let's make one more just in case. Oh no. Again? Oh shit. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I'm on the way. It's my fault, I forgot to put the turrets back where they were supposed to go. God damn it. Okay, we, we, have, we now have two problems. First problem is... Hang on. Let me fix this first.
first problem is that that I just fixed. Well, first, sorry, first problem is the fact that I don't have turrets down here like I used to, because I got rid of them to fix this, so. First task is to do that. That's done, sweet. Let's do solar energy. Put you down here now. Second problem is, as you can tell, as you can see, I don't have enough copper coming in now because that copper vein that I'm mining from is so small. So I need, I need to find a, a different source of copper, unfortunately. Which, lucky for me, there's some up here I think I saw. Yep, right there. So, to get that copper... Hmm, I'm going to have to reverse all my conveyor belts. Which is going to be something that I'm going to have to do off camera because that, that seems incredibly boring. To have to sit here and reverse all my conveyor belts. So, I will go ahead. Let's see. I mean, can I just give you guys some coal manually for right now? I mean, my power is okay for right now. And then, uh, everybody, everybody else is okay. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come up here and start tapping into this coal up here. And in the process of doing that, I'm going to have to reverse the direction of all these conveyor belts. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to do that on, on camera, like I said. So, before we do that, let's do something else. Get some more iron. Just cause I'm worried that it's that going to happen again, which has happened with the biters. I'm worried that I'm going to get attacked again, and they're going to come from a direction that I'm not defending. So, let's make two more turrets. See, I have turrets there, I have turrets down here, and I'm not going to put turrets up here, just in case. Actually, I'm going to put turrets um, right here. All right. That should be good enough for right now. And because I'm paranoid, I'll make a couple more. Put them up here. I put these right here because maybe the dividers are coming from right here, this way. And there, these turrets aren't going to have enough range to see that, so I put those right there. Put two turrets facing up like this. Give them some ammo. Okay. We should be moderately defendable right now. I want to make the mining drills that I'm going to be using for that coal up there. Let's grab some more iron. Make three. And we'll put, uh, let's see, this layout will probably be, be like, let's see, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. And now we just need a bunch of conveyor belts. So I can steal from this line right here. All right. So anyway, gonna wrap it up here. Off camera, between this episode and next episode, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reverse all my conveyor belt lines here for the coal, and then bring the conveyor belt line from these miners up here down to connect them all up. And then we'll work on some more advanced technologies next episode, such as solar energy and uh, some other stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.